Hello friends, today we will discuss the sixth problem in isometric position that is a frustum of a cone base diameter 50 mm, top diameter 25 mm and height 50 mm is placed centrally on a cylindrical slab of diameter 100 mm and thickness 30 mm. Draw the isometric position of the combination. Here the combination of solids are frustum of a cone and cylindrical slab. Let us see the orthographic view. Here in the top view we can see outermost circle that is cylindrical slab of diameter 100 mm. In the front you can see height of the cylindrical slab that is thickness of the cylindrical slab is 30 mm. And in the top view again you can see first of a cone base side is diameter is 50 mm. And first of a cone top side is diameter is 25 mm. And in the front view you can see height of the first of a cone is 50 mm. Now let's do the construction of the above set problem. Go for the line command. Thickness of the line is 0.13. At anywhere convenient distance, click on here and measure the length 100 and angle is 30. Again, length is 100, then angle is 150. Again, length is 100, angle is minus 150. Again, length is 100, angle is minus 30. Now, go for the line command. From this corner, opposite side midpoint. Again, from this corner, opposite side midpoint. Again, from this corner, opposite side midpoint. Again, from this corner, opposite side midpoint. Then go for arc by center point method. From here, measure this length and cut an arc. Again, from here, measure this length and cut an arc. And here, we draw the diagonal line. Then go for arc by center point method. Again, from here, measure the strength, cut an arc. Press Alt in your keyboard, see here. Again, go for arc by center point method, then click here, measure the strength, cut an arc. Okay, then go for select tool. Claim this ellipse at the required distance. Let's place it over here. Switch off the copy command. Okay. Then I'll select this and I'll move this one. A copy of this towards the Right side, right click. Then here we will draw the diagonal line over here, and again I will select this. Then go for the scale, and I will reduce to the half of this that is 50 divided by 100. I will place it over. Why I reduce this? First term of a cone base side is 50 mm. I have prepared that. Okay. I'll place it over here. Again, I'll go for new command. Select this and switch on the copy command. Select this. And I'll place at an height of 50. Enter. Click here. Right click comes out of the command. Again, you select this. Again, go for scale. Type 25 divided by 50. Now, click here. 
that means I have constructed custom of a core top side of 25 mm. Now I will go to the line command, draw the tangent line. I will zoom this. Again, I will click on here to construct the tangent line over here. Then I will show the which are the visible lines over here. Again, I will go here and I will go for click command. I will select this curve, I will click here. Again, I will go for set command, I will select this cover and I will click here. And then I will put this one, I will select this part. As visible. Again, I will select this so I will make it as visible. Now, what I will do, I will select this, then I will go for no command, I will place this, the copy of this at height 30. Click here, right click comes out of the command. Go for line command, zoom this area, then go for the tangent line. Begin over here. Here now, draw the diagonal line over here, then this will be the center, then select this, go for move command, press over here, okay, delete this, copy of this, and select Type combination of solids move the convenient distance. Okay. Then here we go for scale, select it to convert to two scale to isoscale. That is, isoscale is 0 0.81. Enter, place it over here. Then again, it. select the lines which are visible from the front view. So here the portion of the curve is visible, here the portion of the curve is visible, then I will go for this, I will go for set, select this curve and I am going to split here, again I will select this curve and I am going to split here, I will go for split and I will select this and this one, and make it as visible, ok, again what I will do, zoom this and again I will go for split command select this curve and I will split here again I will select this curve and I will go split here then I will go for split and I will select this and also this and make it as visible ok 
Yeah. Now we have completed the problem. This is the combination of solid cup, custom of a cone placed on top of a cylindrical slab. Thank you very much.